All right, and we're back with some more Code Vein, along with our lovely ladies from the home base, as we can see right here. It was just, when you open up with this, you know it's going to be a good stream. Come on now. But yeah, we're back. Um, I did play a little bit yesterday off camera, which is going to be in a YouTube video because I ended up fighting a boss, naturally, because of course I did. But, this, but we actually caught this one. We did. So that will be uploaded later today, if not um, early tomorrow. So that way you guys won't miss out on that. And outside of that, I really didn't do anything. Uh, I didn't, like, farm up or nothing, anything like that. So... I did go back to the home base just to see if there was anything new. Uh, when I talked to Coco, she's like, how about, uh, how about a new blood code on me? And it was like, oh, all right, I see. So now we have the mercury blood code. And then I talked to Yakumo over there and he's like, all right, I have mine too. So uh, yeah, we're starting to get up there. Uh, apparently the atlas one seems to be very good at least only in two things i have two a pluses uh, i know uh yesterday one of our viewers had said that it gone from like s to e or somewhere along those lines so the having a plus is almost max so that's uh, that's certainly something to look into i mean coco's is not bad either b and b plus Allows for safe exploration with its bound stats and gifts related to stamina and haze. I will absolutely take stamina ones. Haze, I'm sure, is more for farming or whatnot, but stamina, I will absolutely take stamina. Great for enduring close quarters combat. That's definitely something I'll need at some point because our close quarters is uh, lacking, to say the least. So I talked to her. Uh, she's just like, I got new stuff in stock, and then she's like, oh, just have my blood code. And I was like, okay, so then I came over to the Yakumo, Yakumo over here, and he's like, yeah, you can have mine too. Apparently those vestige we picked up in the last stream, apparently uh, Eo, Io, whoever you'd like to say her name, is, uh, she can do it something seems with them. I can them. restore the blood code of a vestige's creator from elements left in the vestige. If you find any vestiges, please let me know. I found quite a few. It could be a chance to grant you additional strength. I'll take it. Restore these if you would. Can I only do specific ones? See the details on this. Increase the amount of focus gained from dodging attacks. Uh, if I was, if I was actually dodging more attacks, that'd probably be worthwhile. Fully restore stamina when you parry an attack. If I was good at parrying in this game, I would take this every time. Just every fight, you would just go in immediately, get a, like, just go all out, save enough for a parry, parry whatever attack you know you could parry, and then immediately have all your stamina back. That seems like an absolutely broken ability if I, the parry was uh, worthwhile. Uh, so we don't have some of these, so we're definitely still missing a few over here. And some I actually have, but I can't use, it seems. So let's go ahead and repair these, since I don't think it actually cost us anything to do so. So go ahead and repair that. I believe they also said it was memory, so yeah, we're gonna have something like this. Where am I? So time for some cutscenes. Am I still alive? No. I know this feeling. We're not in Yarnum anymore. I've come back to life again. What happened back there? Cruz. Everyone was. I do have the camera on for this stream. We actually did it early enough to where I could do it. I would have it on like every stream, but lately, um, since I've been doing the house stuff, I have to keep uh, setting up and taking down the setup. And uh, the lights take a bit of time. And they're in the garage somewhere that I'd have to go find. So uh, for the time being, this is probably how it's going to be. 
Uh, the later streams we do will probably be without camera. If I'm able to get here sooner, I'll go ahead and use the uh, the camera as is. But eventually, we'll return the full camera. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a very good conflict, huh? Battle, trying to keep my head above water. Only when I'm engaged in the rush of combat can I close my eyes to the gravity of what I've done. So essentially, we're going back through his memories in order to uh, get the abilities. Those men lying over there ordered you to find them, right? Well, now you can keep them. Far too many people keep revenants as thralls these days. Stay safe and watch yourself out there. Uh, um, my name is Kevin. I could give you a hand with whatever. I'll see you. Oh, rip the Kevin. Rejection already. Here's what I was able to bring. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, I wish there was some way I could repay you. I do this because I want to. Don't worry about me, all right? Tell me if I can help with something. I'll do whatever I can for you. So it seems to be this is showing how Lewis ended up um, really making the home base based off of this. I'm just helping people out eventually. Uh, garnered enough support to where they could create a home base for us to actually be able to come back to as our main uh, area. And we got a trophy for literally just watching a cutscene. Yeah. Participation trophies all day, every day. That was Kevin. He was a young Revenant boy who I met in my travels and in the end brought to his death. He was someone that I never should have forgotten. It's hard to believe that I could let something so important just slip away. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you, but there may be other memories of mine scattered around. If there are, I'd like to get them back. I may discover things that are painful to confront, but I made a decision to face my past head on. I generally went around the area and picked up most of the items, so uh, we wouldn't need the backtrack because we did quite a bit last stream anyway. Even children were turned into revenants and sent out to fight. And then, when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst. But with resources thin, they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. That's honestly all there was to it. It never occurred to me that my actions could lead to such tragedy. Uh, it's just uh, being a leader thing. Somebody's got to do it. We should have one more in here. What is it? Kevin was a boy who had been enslaved group of merciless revenants. Over time, stopping by to give him blood beads became something of a routine. Lewis is making friends. Good for him. Not always the easiest thing to do, especially not in their circumstances. Oh, you, just, you faded, but you didn't actually found that his dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a revenant had attacked him and turned him to ash. The attacker was after the blood beads I'd given Kevin. Well, when you're in dystopian future, is it really unprecedented that they would get uh, essentially bugged for something uh, valuable? So the fact that you kind of just left him to his own out there was probably, I would say, 
Maybe poor decision on his part. I thought that I could save him just by giving Well, him hello, buttons. you. That it Perfect would be camera enough. angles. But I, mean, I lacked we're... true commitment to his survival. And in the end, that's what killed him. I, I don't think that was the case. I appreciate though. your kindness, but it's unnecessary. It is what it is. Indeed. I won't let myself forget again. Probably why he didn't uh, leave me to get absolutely demolished earlier in the game. Even though we kind of did what we needed to. Your whole getup is different. What is good? You were fun. What is it? You good? Memory echoes float through best. The power you hold. Yes, yes. We, I know. I can look at those. We just did that two times. Hunter Vestige. I do have the Hunter Blood Code, but I do not have any of the Vestige of yet. I've got a portion. So some of the Vestige, because it says the Prometheus, which is Lewis's, and then the Hunter version for Kevin, so. So sometimes we need more than one character in order to get back all the memories that we need for these Vestige. Gotcha. Take care. You as well, I owe you as I uh, I think I have everybody I have everybody's blood codes in here, but hers and his, and I'm not exactly sure if she actually gets one out, and I don't know if we actually are able to get one from him. We'll figure it out in time. I forgot to turn off notifications. If it becomes an issue, I'll turn them off. If not, I'm just Hi. This. Did you need uh, do I need anything? I might. I I have an amount of haze here. I actually have a lot okay. from just traveling around. We can probably go ahead and use those. Go ahead and just put all of them on there now. Get everything we can out of them. Uh, except for when I... Except Hi. for when I can't use it. Maybe I can sell... So blood veil so items. Got something to sell? Can I sell these for the amount that I'm gonna get out of them? That seems to be the case. Okay, good. In which case, it's just gonna take all those away from me. That's fine. I thought I would have had to crack them like the uh, souls and dark souls. Not the case. Apparently, we just sell them. Fair enough. We're gonna have quite a bit of haze after this. 13k. You got anything good for me? Buying something? Uh, we have everything of yours besides the Zwei handler. But do we need it? It's extremely heavy from the look of it. Its stats are not really great. It just has like a lot of base, which might be worth something. Not sure how big scaling is versus having base stats in this. We can pick up some new blood bales, why not, right? The more access we get to, uh, the more access we get to new skills, the better. So I guess we can just go across. These ones are worth 9,000, though. We had three different ones worth 9,000. Except we already have a clean slayer thorns. I'm not sure what makes this one different as opposed to this one because it, it says Queen Slayer Thorn 2, but like no stats are changing at all. So maybe it just has different skills then, but that does quite right either. I did pick up all the uh, festive versions. They don't seem like they should be that great based on stats and whatnot. I'm sure they're more for, uh, you know, just the festive look and whatnot, but I went ahead and picked them up anyways. These are 9,000. I mean, they have to be good for that expensive, right? They're, they're 2x plus how much the regular ones are. Uh, you know what? Give me one of them. It says we already have that one. I guess we'll pick up the second version of it and see if that one's better. And let's go ahead and throw that on here. We 
me Queen Slayer Thorn 2. The scaling is like non existent, but apparently it's relatively defensive in comparison to everything else that we got going on. I'm kind of just hoping it comes with new skills, although the new skills should only. Uh, they should only be coming from the new blood codes. Communal Gift with Yakuma reduces guard stamina usage and dodge speed, but increases attack. Guard stamina usage. Reducing dodge speed sounds like a horrible trade for extra damage. Maybe the extra damage is worth it, but I don't know. I overheard some. You're able to read blood code and incorporate it into your own? That's right, I am a voice Fact. type. It would be an honor for you to take mine. I'm curious to see how you have. Ah, well, okay, it's just that easy then. So the only blood code that I'm missing so far in the entire um in the entire base home here is the merchants. Strikes a fine balance between melee attacks and a variety of useful gifts. Beautiful. Well, I'll have to check those out a bit. So everybody's giving me their blood code but you. You're kind of holding out on me, you know? Hi. Now we can give valuable things. We haven't played Wife Simulator yet. Why not, right? Eh, we'll do it later. It's been enough talking and whatnot. Let's get it going. Alright, teleport me out. We should have just about everything. Yeah, we have everything in the Rune City Center now. Now, here's an area we went into in the last stream, but I never actually uh, went farther into it. This area, I found uh, what seemed to be a bit more of a hidden path or just a way I hadn't looked at before. And uh, this poisonous butterfly nest, this is where I ended up fighting the boss. There was a cutscene, there was like a, uh, a human that was getting chased by one of the revenants that we had seen earlier. And then the boss showed up and then he got knocked out and then we had to deal with it. And then the, the human lady ran away. And then once we had finished the boss, we walked over a little bit. And then uh, we had to talk her out of uh, committing seppuku so that we... So that way, uh, we didn't, like, beat on her or whatever, since we need the blood beads and whatnot to survive, stave off blood lust and whatnot. So, eventually, we talked her out of it. I don't know what happens to her after then, because that's about, uh, what we got to, but we have, like, two paths now. We've got this ruined city center where the poisonous butterfly nest is, and then the one that we went to earlier. I have to imagine that this area has more vestiges. I feel like the area behind the boss is like the way we were supposed to go. So if we go this way, maybe we'll find stuff that we haven't actually hit up yet. I think I need to change my blood code as well. I think we're done with it. In which case, let's go ahead and uh, use everybody else. Sprinter reduces stamina drained by dashing. That honestly shouldn't even be a passive. That should just be something that's normally happening. Like just giving yourself infinite stamina when you're not in combat, just so that way exploration isn't as slow. Wanting to be cautious, but... Reduce stamina spent while you're focused. We take that. I'm gonna miss out on draining. Balance would be nice, but we just don't have enough room for it. Restorative offering. Spend your own HP to restore the HP companions. Fair enough. Uh, these, we can't do anything. This one really doesn't come with any skills? That doesn't seem right. I guess the Coco is just the merchant, though, so. Maybe that is. Or maybe we haven't worked our way to it. Anyway. Uh, what do we want here? Enemies within a certain range will appear on your radar. Costs like next to nothing and you can spot them. Learn whether or not there are uncollected items within a certain range would be nice. 
Phantom Assault I did use for a bit, and that's pretty good. Vanish like missed them do a jump smash. The shifting hollow, not exactly sure um, how good it is. I imagine it's just a better dodge. It's really cheap. The cooldown is basically non-existent, so clearly they want me to be using this. They want to make it that cheap and have that low of a cooldown if they didn't want you using it. This bloodshot does blood damage. I'm not exactly sure how that's all sort of calculated, but it gives us access to something uh, that we don't normally have access to, being blood damage as far as I'm aware. Uh, we can really just put on, like, as many skills as we want here. Temporarily increases resistance being staggered. Don't mind if I do. I'd rather not get staggered. Temporarily boost attack power. And just give me some more access to ranged attacks. And with that, we'll just work with these, I guess. Not even light reaches from the hole above. Well, you're telling me. Uh, thanks for that, Mia. This is some real mist. Oh, we're hitting these guys pretty hard. Is that too loud for you guys? Apparently too loud for me at the moment, but mine's also much more turned up than normal. Let's see if I can swing around a little bit, make sure. That... Okay, that should be better. At least for me. And, uh, just let me know if you guys need me to turn down or anything. I need to find the map for this area. There's like nothing for me to be able to see. Uh, hello there. Thankfully, this other one didn't notice us at all. I have no more Icker, though, which means that I'm going to have to do draining attacks to get that back. Not exactly what you're looking for. Queen Honor. At some point, I'm going to have to upgrade my weapons and stuff, but I just... None of the weapons I really have right now feel like I should be investing into. I feel like I should be getting some new ones soon, in which case uh, they'll just be better. Let me start this off immediately. I don't know why I have that ability. Uh, usually Mia has that one, but I'll take it. It might just be a class. They were hiding a vestige. That's about what I thought. Atlas as well. I feel like that's probably going to be a good class for us because we always seem to need to be able to get close. Not that there isn't ranged classes in the game, but so far, a lot of our stuff has been... Like, outside of just picking off random enemies, a lot of our fights have been purely melee, which is fine. No problem with that. We've been here before. I keep thinking one of those guys are going to get up because they've done that in the last couple of areas to us. So I don't want to just like you walk up. Got a dagger to drag out enemies if we need to. This guy doesn't notice this, so let's see if we can actually get him. Okay. Well, we did hit him. We also you know, took a good beat in ourselves there. Me of bringing out the uh, ice magic over there, just absolutely destroying people. Let's stick together so we don't get separated. Great idea. So we got lanterns around the area to help us find our way around. That is not doing much. I mean, if they never get close to you because you just stun lock them with it, it's pretty good. You gotta be hiding something from me back there. I wish we had a map of this area already. I'm sure there's one around here, Careful. but it'd be nice if we found it. Oh, he was just chilling in the water, okay. Oh, 
Okay, apparently that missed. Uh, Mia, I need you to, you know, maybe do a little something. There we go. Mm -hmm. So she used her HP regeneration More skill, there, which is good because go apparently with? that dude hit way too hard. I still forget that blocking so thing. This must be a new area because we've got these guys again. And we haven't reset, so they haven't we'll reset yet. Yeah. It's quite a few of them. I need like a cleave weapon, which this will work, but I also can't afford to get poisoned by these guys. It also doesn't like hitting to the ground very well. Like it, it's very opposed to doing so. All right, bag that guy. I'm trying to get some bigger back so that way I can actually start using some of our skills Let's again. Boutique sake, huh? Never tried any sake. One point, I'll try it. These guys, not too bad. The larger guys, that's when we start having issues. What is that over there? Trying to get some of that acre back. Although I can do it in melee if I, if I remember correctly. Although I think it was like R1 X maybe. Well, that worked. He used so much stamped up for it though. Okay, perfect. We got a, a corrupted missile, which means we should get the map of the area. At least a part of the map of the area. And they leave those lines behind us, so we have an idea of where we haven't gone. Okay, not the right button to press. Remember, you can't regenerate. There's fire. I was trying to shoot him and maybe run towards him as he was leaping at me. Not exactly what you're looking for. sure I'm not missing anything on the side. I'm in like waist high water so I can't exactly run how I'd like to. That did zero damage. Alright, so fire I guess is not the way to go. Whatever ability that I throw on that gives me extra stamina while I'm focused is very nice. You and me both, Mia, you and me both. Hey, please, please get me out of there. Well, good thing you got Acre left because I am all sorts of out. Anything, nothing. I mean, we know vestiges are in this area, so we know there's got to be something. It's hard to walk. Ah, oh, you noticed that too. Yes, it is very difficult to walk around in this area. I'm just trying to find everything in here so that way we don't have to come back to this area again. I see you hiding in there. You don't think I don't notice you? I can see how that mist is useful, especially if it gives the invincibility frames, which I'm still not 100% sure it does, but I would think it would be the equivalent to rolling just flash here. Oh, well, hello there. Okay, I, pre I pressed the roll. That didn't happen. This dude does not care and I do not have regeneration for this. Uh, yeah. That's fine though. That was something I absolutely expected to. It also doesn't seem like we're getting anything out of this blood code, so probably just gonna go ahead and switch it. 
Yeah, it never gave me any abilities, but we what we already had. This one gives us a new ability we can work need to with. Change something. Bloody impact. Blast away foes in an area with the shockwave caused by the release of condensed kicker. Eight second cooldown. Does blood damage. Sure, go ahead and give me one of those. And now it reset everything. I forgot that's the thing. Really wish that wasn't a thing. The fact that we always have to reset upon blood code switching. There should be like a save favorites or something. Now we have access to blood damage. We have access to fire damage. We'll have access to venom. So that way if we get anybody tanky, we can start wearing them down that way. I had some other ones, but I guess they're not available in this. And then just give me a few more ranged abilities here. We set our passives. There we go. Guess I gotta re-rest again, because every time that I have to uh, reset the passives, it takes my HP away again, because I'm picking ones that upgraded so then once i upgrade it then it wants to uh, reduce it because it's like oh you took it off right which is fair enough but now we gotta make our way over there preferably not dealing with as many enemies although mia doesn't seem to think the same way so we're gonna have to deal with these guys have mia get out the way Apparently there's a lever or something up here that I Something's missed. Moving. It seems to be the case anyways. I not exactly sure. How does this work? Oh, that just nukes the entire area on top of me. Well, that would have been nice to know sooner. I keep pressing fall the wrong button. Which is absolutely gonna get me killed. Yeah. Okay, good. Shooting them up in the air does stop them from finishing that. Something tells me when they're in focus. That's probably not the case, but for right now, did maybe this will drain the area so I can actually walk around easier. The fire's been lit. It'll serve to brighten the area. Something along those lines, I guess. I'll take it. Apparently, I'm something over there, else. Over there. So we should go. Um... So I grabbed this one. Was I even farther back? No, because the red is where I got marked when I got wrecked. All right. We hope we don't get attacked here. You can be bold. I highly doubt that'll be the case, though. Look at all of them. Yeah, you guys keep doing whatever you're doing over there because we don't have to fight you necessarily. Unless Mia decides we have to, then naturally we gotta go. I, that great feature just takes far too long to ever actually make it work. I, there's probably upgrades later that may get more realistic, but before that. This guy's still chilling, he doesn't even know what to do. Alright, so we got a big guy over there, and apparently I missed something over here that I that was didn't know that we had missed. No, that's the missile that we are in. Okay. Alright. I mean, uh, must you fight everything inside? We really didn't have to these guys. Okay. Well, bad time to turn around. I'm pressing every wrong button in existence. Every time. I take so much damage just from pressing the wrong button. Alright, heal me a little more. That wasn't bad at all. I, that wasn't bad at all for you, maybe. I just had to use like uh, two regenerations. I'm taking this back, thank you. Uh, yeah, nope, go on this way. That takes forever to go off. We just outright 
right to launch that guy. My roll, please? <laughs> ah, everything hurts. Now, my regeneration is not alright, thank you. Also, can you be like a little more help? Just like a little bit of it. it. Looks like this guy might be weak to fire. And now we get hit by little boots, it seems. Now I'm not a little guy, I got a big boot to fire. Hope you're doing alright over there, man. I, I had my own trouble. Use. Now, what are you hiding from me back here? What do you got for me? A vestige? Alright, worthwhile. Give me that. Part C, so I got part A and part C. I still need part B, potentially part D. Really? There we go. It's hard to walk. Try not aggro anybody else in the way, shall we? Chilling over there in the corner. How do we want to go about this? Alright, so blood damage doesn't seem to be all too much to these guys. Yep, somebody's focused. Thankfully, we fit for me. Yeah, just wanted to knock him down. Bloody impact. Okay, I guess that's all we need out of this gift then, because I've already got everything done on that. In which case, we can switch the atlas. In which case, I'm going to have to reset all this. Increase the amount of focus gained by receiving damage. Now, that for me is probably worth actually inheriting. Inheriting being you can use it on any of the blood codes, not necessarily the uh, one that you currently have equipped. Definitely worthwhile for some. It, I think it only had the passive to it, and now I can't even use like half of my skills. Ah, well, who needs them? It was our fire damage. Give me my phantom assault, and that's probably about it. Free defense is probably worth it as well. Yeah, okay, I think we're fine. Alright, let's try not backtrack now, shall we? Now, oh, here we go again. You're gonna tell me that hit me. I don't know. Anything else? You're hiding all the way back here by chance? Another one of you guys, not necessarily what it's looking for. That did so little damage. My stamina! something over there if they're gonna throw four people at me they're gonna throw four at me there's gotta be something over there we actually got another heal i'm not exactly sure who we got it from but now we have a another permanent heal on us available to us i mean whatever this is stamina booster two times all right Absolutely destroyed him, but we use up so much kicker, and this class really does not have a lot of base. I don't even know why I try and dodge anything. I may as well just block him at this point because the timing is so off. I think that's something about this game between in like Dark Souls. Like when you get hit, like you have like more confirmation when you get hit, other than like. Uh, they hit you, but you don't really, like, stagger, you don't really, like, 
get uh, a rumbling in the controller, you know, this like suggests that you got hit or anything along those lines. In which case, you're like, oh, I'm still fine. And then you look down at the health bar and you're like, I am not so fine. <laughs> A little late there, Mia, but you know, you, you help. Somebody hiding underwater here. Oh, we just knocked this man straight up in the air. Go on. Alright, I'm starting to see why a launch attack could be good. Just knock somebody into the air for free, uh, Think about that. I don't know what you think about, but something tells me I did not want to be a part of what you. <laughs> Happy feet, wombo combo. Oh. Yeah. Mia, if you want to attack it like any character, must be like really starred brick or something like that. She kind of just like stood there and let me do whatever, which is fine. Just, you know, throw some heals my way at some point if that's the case. We should be getting another map piece over here, considering that we're not getting any more any more enemies. Well, that looks like something I could use. It's probably the area where we fought like all three of them at the same time, so I'm gonna chill just a little bit for the game. And the game around the corner swinging. I'm starting to see how this uh, might be a pro oh, okay, she's already dead. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Tell me some of you guys lose aggro, please, because otherwise... Yes. No, the little dude's hitting me and messed me up. Get out of here. That, okay, so that attack just doesn't hit people on the ground. Get the no. Wish I knew that one a little sooner. Alright, so Mia's dead, and we've got, like, three more of these guys to deal with. Oh, boy. Give me some more acre. I'm probably gonna have to attempt to gun them down at this point. Should be easier said than done. Yeah, that's probably the way I'm gonna have to do it. Rip to my consume pulls, but uh, trying to fight three at the same time is not exactly what I'm doing. Uh, you're focused. I'm going this way. No, no, no. Not fighting you guys while you're focused. That just sounds like a horrible idea. Alright, you reset. Apparently, that was not enough range to get that in. There. Alright, we're getting there. Not exactly the way I wanted to go about this, but Mia had to go and die. Not like we weren't fine for these guys at the same time. But, uh, you know. <laughs> they do so much damage. Get me out of here. Oh no. Get me out of there. Oh, and now you're focused. No, no, no. No, no, perhaps. We are out of absolutely everything. Alright, keep it turned around and we'll be alright. There we go. Come on, Mia. You're going to tell me you're going to die to that? You're like my rage master, too. And then you just, like, ran straight in there. Alright. Alright, well, we lose. This. Chemical light. It's probably it. There's another. Uh, at least two more guys chilling over there, but. <laughs> not somebody I'm looking to deal with. 
think there's a fire up here. That way we can get the next part of the map. There's got to be another lost mist or something. Oh, of course you're protecting another one of those. Great. Uh... Well, this is something. I think we just gotta retreat on this one. I've got 94 HP. I I don't have any more heals on me. I don't have any more acre to be able to cheese people with. Like, I think we're... I think we just gotta go back on this one, accept it. And Mia's actually back now, so maybe she'll do something. Now we actually have access to these because uh, we unlocked them. If I could bury, if I got good at burying, this would be fantastic. Until then, use the power acre, the temporary boost to reflexes, enhancing your dodges. Now that could be worse. Increase the amount of focus gained from dodging attacks. That seems like a very boss fight S set. You know, I have access to these. Coco, what do you got for me? Increases venom resistance. Here's you and your partner are venom. You used to block the effect before being inflicted. Temporary creates barrier around you and your partner that boosts lightning resistance, add lightning damage to you and your partner's weapon. How long do you plan on standing around? Returns you to the last touch without losing haze that would be a nice one to get increase slow resistance here you slow increase the amount of haze gained from defeating enemies okay so that's your farming reduce the rate at which the focus gauge is consumed over time well you are focused that would be very nice as well so she's got some nice skills to her you unleash an extremely fast attack and a blink and buy an offensive skill performance you handed Sort of hammer. Increase stun resistant. Creates a ball of light at your feet. Okay. Cures you of stun. Or as a projectile of freezing ice at the target. That would be nice. Just more access to different magic types that I can work with. Increase uh, straight up strength increase. Temporarily increases weapon defense against physical attacks. So I guess if you. If you're uh, guarding, then if you're guarding with the weapon, then you're gonna get damage increase. Okay. Increase the chance of items dropping. So between that and the other one, you could get more items as well as get more haste from everyone. Reduce the rate at which the focus gauge is consumed by attacks while you are focused. So you can do an entire like skill setup where you're just like full focus mode so once you get into the focus state you just stay in it for as long as you can increase damage dealt by drain attacks what do you got here leap forward strike twice increase the drain rate when you guard an enemy's attack creates a single use barrier around you and your partner that greatly reduces damage now that could be very nice look at that Temporarily adds a shockwave effect to strike weapons that deal sufficient damage. That is expensive. Increase the power of the next attack. We already have something similar to that, though. And then we've already got all your gifts. We should probably level up. We have so many levels we could get. Uh, you know what? Just for the extra HP and whatnot, let's take it. There we go. Now we should at least be a little tanky. Which apparently we need because these guys were hitting me very hard. That might just because of, be because of our blood code, though. How are you hitting me? Oh uh, yeah, we're getting like plus 800 from these guys, so <laughs> maybe, just maybe we weren't exactly supposed to go to these guys. Uh, well, we immediately found that guy again, so that's nice. Just get him out of the way. Now you, you are the problem. Right by us. 
this place again? Can I reach you from that range? It seems like I should, but apparently not. I don't know how you haven't figured me out yet, but I'll absolutely take it. Well, it looks like he's figured it out. Immediate focus, huh? Get in there. Get in there. Alright, that... Turns out all we need some levels. All of a sudden, uh, things are becoming a bit easier for us. Crazy, I know. Fires below, certain bright. Let's hope. Do you hopes. think we could get a look around from here? There's got to be something back here, though, right? Do I want to trigger everyone again? Not necessarily, but I definitely need to know what's back there. Oh no! Oh no! I had mistakes were made. Mia, look, uh, can you do something here, Mia? Well, we have problems. I don't know if you notice. We have a lot of problems here. I am being triple teamed? Mia? Oh, my Mia's just running away as I'm dealing with all three. Get me out of here. like 1v3 while you take care of one guy which apparently you didn't even kill because he's still standing over there me too much hey, you're not really you being that reckless right anymore. Now, you know that So those guys are attracted to light. It does seem to be much more than that. I'll take, I'll take the free chance for getting some of my kicks in there. Because that is certainly been missing. Maybe not like immediately run right into everybody. You're gonna tell me we both hit each other at the same time. Oh, there's the backpack. Oops. Got him. I don't know how so. some of those attacks hit, but some of them missed, even though he was still on the ground. It seems a little strange, but that does seem to be a thing. Some, a lot of attacks don't seem to hit in this game. It feels like half of them I throw out there miss, even if I'm like right on somebody. I think we're done in this area for the most part. Oh, this is probably marked it because it saw us get the item, but we didn't actually pick it up. Let's keep that lantern in mind. Alright, so game back. We got everything we needed. We already used all of our regen, so it does not last long enough. Not at all. Are we done with this class? I think we are. I think we got everything out of the skills we want for it. At least that we have available to us that we haven't unlocked yet. Uh. Apparently these guys are weak. Mia is just destroyed with that. Unless it's just Mia being good, which could also be good. They're kind of like the get in there class, though, is the thing. So. Yeah, A strength, A vitality. Should probably save this class for now. 
still trying to figure out where I actually need to go at the end of the day in this place again? I just not see. You have to stay calm. Come but yeah, don't on. don't start to act on ambush? this because Take one, and I take one, and it's all good. Is that my new parry in this form? It is interesting. So, if we got stuff right, there's got to be more ahead, though. Hey, there we go. We got a parry off. Maybe that's just their thing. Maybe they're just extremely weak to parry and I can punish them. Uh, well, I pressed parry that time and didn't go off. It, the parry is a bit weaker. If they're always attacking, then why not parry, right? Because if they're just going to throw attacks out there, if you just spam parry eventually, you should get one, right? And I'm getting attacked by two different people. Not happening. We got rid of one quickly, that's good. And now our block has me in a different position. And now we can look see. Get behind here so that way when he throws those out, we have to deal with it. This dude is just spamming. Okay, so the parry has to be like all the way out there before it actually counts. So you gotta throw it way early. And apparently you have to be, like, pointed directly at them, because the other one was attacking me from behind, but I threw the barrier out there, but it didn't actually count. Not exactly the guys I was looking to fight. Let's see if we can get them out of If I could at least clear one, I can see you out for something. Well, we haven't been back this way because we don't have it marked on our map yet, so. It's like my last heat one for this run. If every fight was a force of being to like, fighting three, four of them at the same time would be better off, but that just does not seem to be have to use every tool you Sound have, suppressor, right? I imagine that's probably so that way we can uh, just walk past these guys. Hey, there was something worthwhile over here. Give him that assassin vest. That was B, though. That wasn't even A, which means I might have missed A somewhere along the lines here. Well, that might be that right there. Are you kidding me, Yakumo? Go ahead and light that as well. I still don't see them doing anything for me other than acting like, uh,. You know, like, areas where you, oh, hey, you can go up here, right? But I was expecting more of it to, uh, I guess, light up the map. It didn't even let me get the other vestige over there. I guess it's going to force me to do this first. Gotta feed the trees so that way I can get my blood beads so that way we don't go, uh into bloodlust stage and then uh, that's all sorts of problems all right i'm currently tracing the spring's flow just hold on give me a moment wait what's going on here we have to go back to the old city ruins there must be okay, so we were originally supposed to go this way first. Anyway, to be told, hey, go going? back to the park where we were before. Mia, no. yeah, it's you, I think. Searching for blood beads on your own? 
Rats off, bold. Listen, no one here wants this to turn violent, so just hand over your blood beads. What if we don't want to? Then I'll take them. You're too late. A kid? Get away from Mia! Nicola! What are you doing out here? Because you... Awkward timing. <laughs> He's on the verge of a frenzy. That's why you want the blood beads, isn't it? If you lay a finger on him, I'll carve out your heart. Hey, I've got one of those now too, Mia. Think you're gonna scare me with that? Uh, here, take this. That's for him. Give it to him quick. No. You haven't had anything to drink, Mia. Don't be silly. You know, I heard taking off like your it's mask you. before you try and drink something is probably helpful, but hey, you know what? Maybe they just stick it down the mask. The symptoms aren't fading. Why? It's not enough, that's all. I I just have to find more for him. Hey, come on. Going out on your own is crazy. Thanks for your concern, but we'll be all right. Come on, let's go. All right, if you insist. I mean, it's not like we got a home base, some other waifus in it, you know. We we got a bar set up there. We've got hot springs. No, you... Uh, okay. So, I don't think... Yeah, I know. Let's go after them. Dude's got a massive sword. Apparently, I can actually get his sword if I get enough trading points. Uh, but I don't think I'm anywhere like near the amount that I'd actually need. I got Assassin Vestige B and C now. I'm missing A, so I can only imagine that I'm still missing other things in that area. But I definitely need the reset because... Uh, we got 15k, we can probably start looking back at these again. How much are levels? Like, how cheap is it? Levels are cheap currently. The gifts were, like, extremely expensive, so maybe I just keep taking levels. Like, maybe I was just making it so much harder on myself, because now I'm getting a lot more stamina. My HP is going up. I thought gifts were the way to go, and I still think they are long-term, but I think in the short term, I just need to get to a soft cap on levels and then work at it i don't necessarily want to go back into this area but the fact that i don't uh, I I don't get attacked here the fact that i don't have assassin vestige a really makes me think i should go over there and clearly i'm missing a, a vistal over there because we have the uh we have the lever pulled over there and we got an entire like fourth of the map that isn't covered but we have traces too. Oh yeah, we're going back out this way. It's not exactly the street I want to be in while doing that. Oh, apparently you can hit me in the middle of that. I thought, I thought just maybe, you know, give some form of time. Yeah, the time is real weird on the parry. I'm still trying to get some of them in to try and get some parry practice, but like something about it. Where where am I now? That just leads me back there, so I need to go this way and then come. Okay, the map doesn't seem a hundred percent is the most useful thing ever, but at least we're getting around a little bit better. There's got to be another there. missile around here. We didn't check out this side. I guess we could also play it kind of stealthy in the fact that we could just... We don't have like a crouch or anything, but I guess we could just be a little more... Like... Not actively walking at him. 
That move really needs to stagger if it's gonna have that long of a time. Like, if it's gonna take you that long for a charge up attack, I need a stagger or something because there's no reason that. Right? It also doesn't even do, like, that much damage. GXM variant plus three? That seems to be another blood bale, but at plus three. I think all of ours are like plus zero, so they get a plus three one is pretty up there. At least for where we're at at the moment. We still know we've got some roaming around here. So definitely don't uh, aggro all of them. Get in there. there we go. The fights are so much cleaner when we can pick them off from range and they only know where we're at. We've been here before. We indeed have been here before. Alright, so this guy's just chilling for now. How do they always get me on that pack swing? Venom vaccine? I guess the little dudes didn't uh, have venom on them. I was like, why do we need this? I saw something over there that we want. Of course, here, boy. Now that's the last of my heels. Alright, well, let's see what we, we got going around. on here. Go Enemy ahead and tank up before I even get there. Uh, there. Uh, the, uh, if I'm gonna hold his aggro, I'm gonna need you to do some crazy attacks on him. Just if you would, please. If you really feel There we go. Just gotta distract him long enough for him to do Hey, we got the assassin vestige. Optimal for melee combat features gifts that are great for surprise attacks. Well, it certainly seems like something that'd be good in this area. We, we did get here. the assassin glass essentially out of it. We take the... I, I don't even want to know what you can do. Oh, good. be one that thing. Mia, you didn't even do nothing. Oh my. <laughs> Mia, please. <laughs> you know there's gonna be more of those guys around the corner. So around here, yeah, there's another one rolling. We're still missing a, a fire over here. And a missile. The not having there it is. I see it, whether or not I'll be able to get it with 168 HP is kind of the big Man, these things are tanky. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Fine, we we'll got put that to good use. Now we actually have a map of this area, so we can, well, should have a much better idea of how this is going to go. It's hard to walk. Anything else around here that I'm missing before I get out of here? You good? Oh, of course. So we got some more poison guys, but other than that. Else on our map here that we haven't seen. 
Looks like we got everything on the map now, so I think we're okay. I think we're good to go ahead and get out of here. That being said, how do we get out of here again? <laughs> I got all the way back. I guess I should check out this uh, blood veil that we got. Plus three. A blood veil made of armored plating and treed fabric enhances support. It seems like it's got quite a bit of uh, stats on everything. Uh, the actual scale thing is maybe not necessarily the greatest, but at plus three, it's probably still better than most of our stuff. If not all of it in terms of our blood veils that we have available to us. Sixty-three HP. Kind of crazy that we made it out of that. I was very much expecting to die there and be like, all right, well, it's time to go back break. again for it. Now we have the assassin. Reduces the amount of sound you create, making it more difficult to be detected. Form a fast, short range charge. Increases damage dealt by a special drain performed after a parry slash backpack. Temporarily apply stun. Temporarily increases you and your partner's attack. This ends when you take damage. So if you just didn't take damage, you would just keep doing extra damage from that. Scares Icar in the area, creating a tra trap that stuns assailants. Temporarily reduces stamina consumption. The effect ends when you take damage. So this one seems like when you just want to style on people, like if you're just not taking damage and whatnot, you get heavily rewarded from it. Ignore some of the enemy's physical defense and weapon defense for your next attack. So you can just keep popping this and you'll just keep doing extra damage. I think we still want levels, though. They're definitely starting to get more expensive, but the stamina is so worth it. Alright, so now we're in the right area. This lever might be our ticket. Oh, good thing she said something about I that, see. I guess. The a sluice opened in the water level uh, drain some. Beautiful. That was a slog. And it's all me. Wanna try for an ambush and immediately runs into it? Nah, I think I'm good. Rusted sluice key, huh? I suppose I have a better way of getting into my inventory. A key that has turned a dull orange with corrosion, unlimited uses. I don't suppose you want to give me more information on that other than it just exists. Yay. Maybe we need it for this or something? Yep, that was the case. That makes it easier to get around. If I pull it again, is it gonna get lowered or is it gonna raise it again? It's probably gonna raise it again. Nah, it's just gonna do nothing. Okay, so one time pull on those. I'll be right there. I'll be taking this. We'll put that to good use. I probably should have been upgraded my weapons as well, but it's been a while. I still am not con convinced that I should be upgrading these weapons yet. I feel like I should be picking up some new ones by now. We'd fall if the water was still here. If you can hear the doggos, you'll just have to hear the doggos. It shouldn't be too bad, but if it's too bad, let me know. And I'll just deal with it as it is. Yeah, that would make sense. Can I even get up here? There we go. This, whatever this is. Iker Concentrate, that's good because I use plenty of it when we use all of our skills like that. I, I can't hit an attack to save my life. 
So I guess whenever we end a new area, our first objective really is to get a map. Some of us. Should probably heal at some point. Healing takes forever. At least you can move while you do it. My heels are so weak, though. There's got to be something that I can get the level is up because they even heal me up. You know? You're not wrong. There is not for long. Master the gift Brazilian focus. <laughs> Come on, man. You're gonna tell me the backswing knocked me off the edge of the map? Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I hate to see it. Alright, so this... We gotta try out the assassin class. I mean, come on, man. Give me my HP back. Give me my stamina back. Focus stamina. Brazilian focus. Yeah, being able to get in the focus is probably much nicer. That's the only real skill we get out of that. Huh? Alright. That's probably fine. We have nice dodges now with the assassin class. A dash like that seems like much better than our roll. Not that the roll was bad, but I mean this just seems better. Something's moving. Yeah, there's that big guy right there, but he's not waking up, so we don't gotta worry about him. We already got the item we need out of him, so there's really no need to like, go after him at that point. Good to see we can take down one guy, although they still take plenty of hits for like what level we are, or at least it feels like it. All right, fair enough. I definitely, I certainly feel more fragile as an assassin. Though. Have, right? That would make sense, though, because you certainly want want your assassins being as tanky as your presumably tankier class. In which case, uh, why would you pick it at that point? Right? <laughs> Yeah, hit on the ground to save my life. Yeah, it's just something about like the hitboxes on these guys. Or the fact that my weapon apparently just cannot like pull you down there. That took some effort. Just making sure I'm not missing nothing. I mean, we did end up getting entirely new blood code out of this area, so who's to say that there isn't more within this area that we just haven't ran into yet? I don't know what you are, but I'm a heal beforehand. in here I should be grabbing before something happens. Evil. Okay. Uh, my parries? No. This dude is going to absolutely destroy me right now. He's got to give something good though, right? I mean, he can do it. Little guys are in the way now. Really? Who hit the guy? We actually dodged it for once. My stamina. 
Yeah. Oh, he's focused? Absolutely not. Get me out of there. Alright. Yeah, apparently just dodging away was not good enough. Alright, I guess I'll just die then. Uh, so that guy hits really hard, huh? We did get the key from it, so we don't necessarily have to go back and fight hey, in there, but I okay? do want to. Just the be able to say that I beat him. Like, uh, he hits kind of hard. Like, really hard. Enemy spotted. Want to try for an ambush? Alright, we're definitely gonna try to fight this guy again. Not to say we can't fight some of the meat. there was a better indication of when you get hit he's like just when they hit you there's just nothing like unless they absolutely like destroy you with an attack there's like really nothing that suggests that you got hit other than you know if you actually got hit or know that you got hit i'm about to get news to get that is more range than it blitz on all right <laughs> Oh boy. Glad to see that I'm expecting the solo of this now, thanks, Pete. Alright, yeah. Uh, my dodge, please. My dodge, please. I, he literally can catch up to me in my dodge. Okay, that makes sense. Come on, man. He was able to keep up with me in my dodge. That's the fastest dodge that we have we can do today. It. And yet this man was able to keep up with me in it the entire time. I want to kill this guy. It seems like... It feels like... I mean, he's like a new character we haven't seen before. So it definitely seems as though he should drop something nice. Should probably change my weapon at this point. Although it says the assassin can use it. He can use everything but like the ultra great hammer. Sure, you know what? Let's try this. Weapon for every I guess we tried one of every kind. Oh yeah, this looks like it might be able to do something. Maybe. Should probably take these guys out so that way they don't potentially get in. Wow, this takes a lot of stamina. It hits really hard, though. Maybe that's what we just need for that guy. Maybe if we just hit him hard enough, he'll stagger. And then we can do what we need to do to him. Oh, yeah. These guys are staggering every hit of this. I, not necessarily to say that, that the, the other guy is going to react the same, but these guys are certainly getting worked. Even while focused, that man was still... Just getting destroyed. Back to this. We already hit the. Now I gotta actually figure out how I got back to that guy. Not even giving me a chance. In this yeah. Man, if we miss with this thing, though, our stamina is just gone forever. Staggering all too much from this, which is scared of thoughts. He's out of focus now, so we can get in there. That's me. Okay, so apparently you can't just uh me up my heel. There we go. Apparently you can't just roll out of that. It's so much rage. Holy Mia is so going to be dead. I want to get over the Mia, but like, I just, I don't even know where this thing is at at this point. I doubt she killed it. It might have rolled off the edge, though. Like, she tried to do a dash attack at her. Is it dead? I'm pretty sure it's dead. I think it dashed and threw itself off the edge of the map, which, frankly, I'll take at this point. Because that guy something else we got the key out of them which i have yet to actually check what that's gonna do for us key marked with the head of the 
very descriptive. But... How's this attack go? Oh yeah, that. You think that would wash this guy? I mean, it's not exactly like the sword is small or nothing. All right. And give me whatever this is. Okay, one second.
Are we good now? Okay, there we go. I don't know why that did what it did. Uh, but yeah, that was people calling about the house. So I had to take that because I want people to be able to see it. So that way we can sell it at some point. So that's my bad. Uh, well, hello. I have no more heals. Uh, Mia, I'm gonna need you to destroy him with the magic since apparently you're hitting him for like almost a thousand with your stuff. So, like, if you would, please. He went down much easier than I you thought have to he would. Use every tool you have, right? Turns out the sword with its base stats and its scaling and stuff is uh, putting in work. I guess it's our only two-handed. It said it was two-handed, but my dude still we feel it in one-handed. Just does not care. We have the eagle key, so we wouldn't have been able to go this way without it. So at some point we would have had to find it. We hope we don't get attacked here. Which makes me think that we're going the right way, maybe. How big is our map? There's got to be some marker in between all of this, although I should. Hey, are you pushing yourself? We'll leave that mark for right now. That way it shows it's like a door, and that way we can figure out the rest of this area potentially. We already hit this because that drained all of this stuff down. Pretty sure we have everything just about dead in this way. area, so we don't necessarily have to reset. We already fought the guys over here. The markings behind you are nice for like a little bit until everything starts getting covered by it and then it starts to become a problem. <laughs> then everywhere looks like you've been everywhere. Hey, what the heck? Oh, jeez. Can you not go in front of the camera, you? You know what you're doing. One of the cats walking in front of the camera. Okay. It seems like we got everything in that last area, so... There's definitely something over there, but the problem is I have no HP to be able to deal with it. Uh, I see the lost over there. I see you one as well. Uh. How about that? Can you snipe it with your magic, or how are we gonna do this? Apparently, I can hit it from here, so I'll take it. Turns out he can also hit me from right there. Just keep dodging and uh, me it. You can't say just keep dodging the me and then you not dodge as well. Oh no. Uh Mia. Mia, I know you have HP. Oh, okay, alright. Well, fair enough. We went through an entire area and then didn't hey, have any okay? heals going into that, so that's Anything else we would actually want to add to this? Not really. What was the requirement? Ah, oh, I just gotta be people with this. It says there's like different requirements in the game, but so far, in terms of like leveling up the skills, but right so there. far everything has just been like just kill things, which is fine, but. Something's moving. I just want to see how much damage. Uh, uh, he is definitely not that magic resistant because me is destroying this man. I hit him for like 500, he hit for like 800. We'll put that to good use. Regen inducer, that's nice. That's like a consumable heal, so. Alright, we can just run our happy selves back over there and not have to deal with this much. Ooh, he's still. Oh my. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> That was absolutely unfortunate.
this is generally why we stream later, so that way stuff like that doesn't happen as much, but uh, it is what it is. Can we one shot you if I just do like an overhead that somehow missed you? What are these hitboxes? <laughs> Those guys give nothing for Haze, not even worth fighting them. Alright, so we know we got a big guy over here. Something's up ahead. If I had better magic, I could destroy this guy. <laughs> yeah, 218 from that. I don't want you having the high ground, so if you get it. Okay. Turns out he can stagger me just as hard as I can stagger him. So if I do dodge his attacks, it does give me bullets. Moss covered key? Okay, so it seems like the theme is just keep getting keys and then we can keep moving forward in this area is your regeneration level all right no no it is not me you can't regenerate I, i'm well aware thank you somebody's gonna be around this, this right see any damn thing in front of them vestige part a so now we should have everything from the assassin class as long as it's not there's not a part b in it which there could be so we got the moss covered key now. I don't suppose you're going to be a little more descriptive in your order. Uh, a key stained by green moss. Fantastic. I'll link it. 66% explored. So we're definitely still missing at least one more area, which would it's make sense why we have that next key. It seems like it's going to be this one. Man, those things are tanky. So if they see us, they will try and dash on us. Uh, Mia, you're supposed to, like, dodge them. I, we were able to stop that guy last time we hit him just fine. And then we just kind of stagger broke him. Don't know why that was the difference this time, but it was. My stamina at least they take so much stamina. Oh, man. Thankfully we could just bully these guys with this thing. Like they stand actually no chance. You have to use every tool you have, right? What do you got for me this time? Prayer scroll plus three? Seems weird that we didn't get any plus ones or plus twos or anything like that. We're just going straight to plus three. Anything else in here? Not that I'm seeing. We're still missing a mistle in order to not have a map in this area. There we go. Now we got the moss covered key, which should allow us to bring down the water in this area, which should hopefully allow us an easier time at finding items in the area. Yeah, we've got somebody over here. You didn't even have a chance. Queen Steel, I think we were only getting iron for a while there in terms of the Queen gear, which we use for uh, upgrading our gear. So we're definitely getting uh, better materials at this point. Go ahead and grab this part D, maybe? Atlas Vestry, part D. I'm not sure if we... I feel like we're probably still missing, like, one or two on that. But we're getting more progress. Still only 66%, so there must be a decent amount of items over here. So, like, crawl their way up. Yeah. And going back down.
Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Should have rolled. Should. Somebody patrolling over there. Okay, so everybody's just hanging off the sides in this area. So, like, anytime I go around the corner, I just have to expect one of them to be there, huh? I guess that dash is nice, and the fact that I was actually able to dash through him and then get behind him and attack him, I could definitely see that being useful. I'll definitely take care of you before I attempt to fight that other guy, Paul Boss. Get my stamina back. We'll put that to good use. And get it. Oh, who's the one staggering now? There we go. Give me this. Is it something nice? Plus three weaponry on one of the blades that I, uh, one of the original blades I think that we ended up getting. Although they called it a Queen Slayer blade, so it is different. I'll be right there. But the general outline was the same based on that, so it probably falls along the same archetype. I wish I had some actual, like, healing skills. Like, we had the heal skill where it allows us to uh, give HP to each other at the cost of our own, but I need one where I can straight up regen HP. Plasma cartridge, don't necessarily need that. Nice to have, it at least gives us some elemental coverage, but other than that. Make sure I just get everything marked out on the map here in case I end up dying. That way I know uh, which way I did and did go. Although if we could just find the map, that will make life much easier. There's got to be more to this area. We want to go through three separate areas to get all the way over here and not get anything out of it. That's how we got the chest, but now we can go this way instead. What should be leading us to a mystical. I was 100% expecting somebody to be in this area. That did what exactly for us? Fire's been lit? Okay. So we can go in there. We can go that way. We can go this way. Let's go ahead and go this way first. We hope we don't get attacked here. Why? It sounds like Mia is this way. In which case... That sounds like some story content, so let's go ahead and go I'm this way, way first. Make sure we get everything before it potentially uh, throws us into a different scenario that we'll have to act in. And the map's are right here. All right, that worked out. Oh, definitely rest me. Yes, please. Please rest me. There we go. Get them levels up. They're getting expensive. I feel like we should probably start going back to skills now because I'm, I'm getting a lot more stamina. Um, that did like next to nothing in damage. It's annoying, but like in terms of like actual damage it's doing, it's not doing much at all. You have to use every tool you have, right? I was trying to hide behind that so that way it was, you know, like maybe roll on it or something. Turns out not the case. Probably one of the first times that we've actually guarded in quite a while. Give me this. Is it something nice? Impaler plus three. Now we have not got the impaler as of yet. Thin spear with the sharp head. I 
skills for nothing off the strain. Skills off of dexterity. You get slash pierce out of it. Its scaling is slightly better than what we're working with, but every other stat is worse. It's hard to walk. It brings up us up to 83, which I imagine the last of it is going to come from uh, whatever we I'm end up doing way. over here with Mia. You're the one that wanted to come in here. Now you want to leave? Ah, you actually want to leave? Yeah, he's not mowing yet. When he starts mowing, I'll take him out. Maybe we'll show him on camera. Maybe. I don't know. We're still seeing that that zero uh that zero follows i don't know maybe if we get one maybe then i'll show it you know what maybe maybe we'll, maybe we'll be that guy give me this those man-made structures are burning Where'd he run off to? That yeah, will he got turned the ash. Voice. Something's coming. How convenient that he ended up taking out the child and then just running for it. All right, what do we got to deal with this time? Our first actual boss fight that you guys will see on screen. Uh, presumably this would end up being a boss. Uh, the other boss fight will be on YouTube later today, if not early tomorrow. Get it? What do you got for me? Uh, We're already coming in here. We're almost here. We see what we're working with here. Now we gotta prepare for this accordingly. So we definitely want anti-slow. What else would we want? Do electric damage? I mean, I would imagine any form of extra damage would be even better against them. Applying stun to them? That, that could work. Sound suppressor. Oh. Give me a stun cartridge as well. Oh, it was still on the same one, so it took off my anti slow. Alright, there's the anti slow. We don't really got much attempts on this in order to make this happen. Alright. It should be in a better spot as well. I can't really scroll in all the way through like this. 
So that's fine. This we don't necessarily need. Uh, okay. Anti slow. At every time. Anti slow plasma. So now we only have to scroll through a few things rather than that, so that way we can actually access them earlier. I'm not sure if it's going to keep the effect if I go in there, uh, if I already have it pre-applied, because it says we can pre-apply in order to stop it from uh, happening originally, which would be ideal, so that way I'd never end up being slowed. In which case, the fight should go a lot better, I would hope right at least. There. All right, so let's go ahead and anti-slow ourselves. Then put on the All plasma. Prepared. And let's get it. Uh, Give me a yeah. 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 My dude, this uh, lost to save my life. Well, I'm gonna let me do her thing then. That's it. I have a back attack? I guess she's already got the back attack. Maybe I didn't have enough stamina. This is just an insane amount of stamina, so that one's fine. Uh, no, don't roll into that. Oh, well. Alright, I've got focus on me. Get it back. Okay, apparently that hit me, yikes. Fuck, uh, get out of there. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Man, he had hit once by these guys, and he just looks so bad. I guess they expect you to be able to dodge stuff a lot more than I do, but maybe I'm just not using the right stuff to dodge. Maybe that's it. There's our slow effect. That's what I wanted to use. There we go. Go ahead and equip ourselves with that. Okay. Oh boy, here we go again. Ow, ow, ow. I can't move. I'm stuck in the move, man. Okay. Well. Looks like we're probably gonna be like a range class again or something, if that's gonna be the case, because I can't right, afford to just stand in there with them. Also, like, I'll try it again. I definitely need to get my slow items back if I don't have them already. Oh, good. I only have one left. I don't know if electricity was actually doing anything for us there. So, let's try our stun cartridge because being able to stop their movement would be ideal. We also have the slow, or we have the other seals that I should actually be putting on here. I can use the Venom. I should be able to use some of the other ones if that's the case. Maybe not. So we got our regular shots. Now our precision. Makes it easier to stagger people with the weapon. That'd be nice. Dash forward to make powerful overhead attack. Eh, we'll just keep running it like this. It only took me two tries on the last boss I actually beat it, so this one is definitely harder. Mostly because this one's a lot more mobile and runs away and whatnot. So we'll try... So we're gonna give us ourselves anti-slow immediately. We're gonna throw on our stun, see if, like, stun's the way to go, and get it. I don't know, it's something about accessing the skills that I feel good to me. Maybe I can use the other stuff, but I, I can't be able to save my life because she's got unlimited range, apparently. I need to roll like three times before I can do anything. 
I just had to do it four times and I'm doing two attacks. There's gotta be some better way for me to regenerate health. There's no reason I should have to do more heat for one hit. Something about that. Okay, so if I'm locked on to her, the dash is going to press this there, it's going to make me run the whole time to dash the way that I was going. I guess that's her applying slow. It's a her tag slip that I Give me that one. Careful, I don't feel so much. Ah, well, considering everything she has, you know, requires a four, I think I'll be okay. You're so useless in this fight. <laughs> Come on. Oh boy, I can't even get I can't even deal with the slow anymore at this point. Well, that's just great. I probably could just switch to like a range class and then or even like my cast right herself there. and then just like nuke her with the stuff because she seems to be very good versus melee. Probably not that great against range, but I I want to beat her as a melee at this point because it definitely seems possible. But I uh, certainly need something else going for me here. Probably should be blocking more than I am or getting better at rolling. One of the two. Ideally both, but one of the two. Sure. I don't really care if I end up losing my enemies here. I don't think it was that much. Thing. I need something like stamina regeneration. I I think I'm too used to Dark Souls, where it's like you can just go in really hard, where here, like, it seems like I gotta play it a lot slower, like I gotta dodge a lot more than I would necessarily want to in the others. Man, that slow effect is so dumb. It's so strong. It slows your movements, it slows your attacking animation, like, it just makes everything about you slow. Uh, stun cartridge does not seem to be doing anything for me. Venom, maybe? Stun resistance. Venom resistance. Need anti-slow, man. We can try Venom, just try it. No, I don't want to. Yeah, it's not lying, the guys are going mad. With this weapon, I feel like I never have enough stamina, but we have knocked her down on multiple times now, so we must be doing enough stagger damage to make it happen. If I had more Igor, I'd be able to use some better time. stuff. They're on the Venom cartridge. I don't really think anything's gonna work on her. It doesn't really seem like that. Something. Wow, the Venom cartridge just did not last at all, or it just did not like being applied before actually getting into the fight. Yeah, like look at me and stuff, like range, and then she had to take like three steps before she even got to me. Uh, if I was being like my cast or something, or something. Or something. But we've already committed to the melee, and I like the challenge. We just like to stagger at some point, you know, like how you want to do it. When Mia actually didn't take the backstab right there, we did so much more damage. So I guess maybe she was taking mitigated damage, but I was taking a lot of 
Oh boy, now we're slow grade. Oh, this is so gross. This is me running, by the way. This is me actively attempting to run. Oh, that's so dumb. At least my dash is still like halfway usable. When she could just hit me twice and I die. Yeah, no, there's no way I can use this sword while slow. Ah, boy. I want to do it as a melee weapon because clearly that's the harder option. Like, if I wanted the easier option, I would just switch How to my Gaster Self. I would have like 40 mana or whatever, in which case I I could just spam her and then just keep trading off aggro between me and make it way easier. That's not, you can't go that's ahead not the way I want to beat it, man. I want to beat it melee, but I certainly cannot afford to get slowed. If I get slowed ever, I'm basically just dead. We hope we don't get attacked here. Alright, so what do we need to change? I definitely need to roll from attacks more. Uh, guarding, really not that great, considering the slow still. Just getting applied, heavily applied. I get hit twice while I'm blocking and I'm already there. I keep trying to do a back attack, like how you would expect to go back attack in Dark Souls, but I haven't seen it really close. She was able to do it, so it, it should be able to do it. Since especially now we have the same uh, pair. Now, like this one, we just roll away from The stamina region is so bad. It's so bad. Hey, she staggered off of that. We take those. We take those. We take those. My dude will not hit her, but we take those. Oh, get me out of there. Get me out of there. I can't afford her to spin on me. I roll. Don't give me that. And it's good. That slide attack is extremely strong. That is extremely strong. It might be a good idea to cool down. Yeah, I thought we were like good on levels for like a while here when we were just chilling with the regular guys, but nah. Geez. Okay. These heels are so they're so bad. They're so bad. Like it really feels like they only ever want me to roll and like you you getting hit is just like absolutely punishing. To walk. Okay. All right. So basically, just never get for hit forehead. It's just that easy. If only it was that easy. I think I just need to keep spamming my dash. I mean, they do make it extremely cheap. So. Which is probably why they uh, penalize you so much for actually getting hit if they want you to spam that for like invincibility frames and whatnot. Oh yeah, the, the dash definitely gives invincibility frames. I like hard to dash there, so yeah, definitely want to be spamming that. Like we were just able to dodge that right there because okay, we want to keep her from that because absolutely destroy us. Which means I have to stay on her so that way she doesn't step on the dash. Yeah, now I don't have Mia here to take aggro for me. Oh, it dashed me towards her. That's not what you want to see. Oh, I need you to stagger. She did stagger after like four hits. Okay. I figured I had to go all in at that point in order to stagger her in order for me to heal because if I tried to run away, she was just going to dash attack me and her dash attack is much faster than my running. Alright, so spam, spam the dodge and get out of there. We hope we don't get attacked here. Mia, you are like very nihil for for this fight. You know that? Like, you just get one shot by this thing. I could switch partners. I mean, maybe 
maybe Mia's just too squishy for this fight, in which case I could have, like, a, a Lucas or somebody come in and maybe that would make it better. It seems like the AI might not be very good at registering where exactly uh, you go when you dash. I can't move to save my life, man. I don't know what it is. Is it it's just like my character being as slow as they are, or if it's like something more than that? I'm just so slow. Like, without this dash, I have like no movement. I mean, stamp and save my life. There we go. We rode the boss and we got all of our stamp in the back. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, get out of there. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. Ah, we're going slow. It's over. It's over. That did 1,200 plus damage? Oh, okay. I think it might have actually been now. It's going to clear the slow off for me. These deals are too slow. No, it is not. I am absolutely slow. Rip to all of my focus. Like, that would have been a fantastic time to be able to do but slow is just too strong. Slow is beyond too strong. This is awful. I'm sure it's extremely good, like, for me, if I can ever do slow. Right now, yikes. And I dashed right into that. I could just... I could just be a rage person and then just kite her. And then she clearly has no ranged attack. So as long as you can just kite her efficiently, that'd be fine. But I want to do a mate. I want to do this mate. It's going to be harder. Which is going to make it more fun. So... Oops. I don't know why I gotta make anything hard on so. it, It's just, it, clearly you know what you need to do in order to win, but like, it would it be fun just to watch me just AOE kite this guy. Don't worry. Got this one. Right. Get in there. Like, she even staggered against me as basic shots. Those are like the shots that even I can do. There we go. I should have been healing over there. But I'm I really just can't dodge that attack, huh? Oh my, the, even the dash is slow and slow. I probably should just like farm slow. Uh, just slow invincible items, but. Slow cures and whatnot. It's also much more farming, which I'd rather not do. an attack on him slow. Holy. <laughs> you know what? We can switch to a different weapon. Why not switch to a different weapon? If we're just gonna be too slow with that weapon, then why not? When the going gets tough, isn't that what they say? I wonder if it's actually our weapon that's making her stagger. Or if it's like just that amount of damage. We haven't tried the new sword we picked up yet. Why not try it out? Probably not the best time to be trying out new weapons inside of a boss fight, but hey, you know, I was get it.
All right. What? Come on. Let's do it. I just so much damage, although I think it's because the skill counter is boss and I oh, definitely don't want to dash towards her when I need to heal. Don't do that. That's like the one lock on that's actually good. So far, like, dash towards them. I'm used to, like, lock on for, like, any other thing. It's just good. Stay there as soon as she immediately throws it. Great. Uh, I think. I mean, we still made her stagger with this weapon, so hey, it seems like okay? we can do it with essentially any weapon. I I would have thought it would have been easier with you know our gigantic sword there, but it seems to be doing all right as well. You can't go ahead on your own. wherever you need me. I think it's just because when she's in the state like that, that it gives her damage for that. Still at range. I had a lock on on, so now I'm locked on to her. Now I guess we're in here man. You can, like, dodge if you felt like it. I, I've seen you dodge before, so I know you can. There's definitely openings to that which I should be using, but I get too greedy with my stamina. <laughs> who would have thought? And every game that I can read in, I'll bring it. Oh, Imagine if speed was a thing in this game that that this weapon would absolutely destroy it with like a task. Alright, well that's the last of my heal. Well, I tried the dash. Apparently the dash was not fast enough. My dash? Oh my. What is with the timing in this game? There's something there's something off about timing in this game. The parries feel weird, the dodges feel weird, like, maybe, maybe it's just bad, because bad, maybe I'm just slow, like, I, I don't know, something, it don't hey, feel are you right. okay? I probably should actually, like, parry her attacks, especially knowing some of her attacks. I'll be right there. But again, the parry's so weird. Yep. Parry wasn't so weird, I would certainly consider. I don't know if I can actually parry anything of hers. I would I would imagine the dash I probably can't. The spin around, no. The one where she tries to just like plant don't the worry. weapon on you, you that go. seems like one that you should be able to do so. Why must every attack in this game be able to hit you? Hot. Like, even if they miss the actual original swing, it, like, still hits you in the back. There we go. No, don't do that. Thankfully, that, at least she targets me in that attack, otherwise we would have no much more problems for us. Of course, the Mia dies beyond faster than we do, so... Uh, time to get out of Time to bend get out of there. And slow 
which is basically dead. Slow is too strong. This boss is definitely beautiful, but like, it's slow. Some sort of like back doesn't happen. You didn't even hit me. You hit me. That one, fair. That one, I was being. Can you just like stagger? Like, what if you just staggered again? I mean, if we can get her to stagger. Probably, probably if I didn't make her stack for a second time. She did. If I could keep her in that corner, she seems to do more tame skills and whatnot, in which case that'd make it much better. It might be a good idea to cool down At least, her. like, dying in this game is, like, quick. Like, I don't have to sit through a cutscene or nothing like that, really. Probably I'm helps that it's way. being played on the PS5 as well, but... Get to work. All right, go. Yeah. All right, so we gotta spam a dash blur. We also have to attempt to dodge. There's my parry, but she didn't get parry. But it did stop her attack. But we didn't get any parry window because of it. One day I'll have a stamina. It's crazy that I haven't found anything that allows me to get her stamina regen, because, like, it is so slow. So I guess stamina regen in this game is essentially just getting her stamina that, uh, That's, like, what I am getting out of it. I knew it out of the to dash at the same time, which is probably why it gave me the focus. Here, which like rips my focus back. Okay, good accounting for that. But it matter because I immediately got just that. Attack. I think slow is fine. Fine, start doing something again. But... Nope, it is very much slow. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, she just, she brought the new to me. Come on, man. <laughs> Just, just kill me on this run. Just kill me. I, uh, just kill me on this run. That was terrible. Yep, saw that one coming. I can't believe she brought the nuke to me. Like, what is wrong? I'm just I mean, I'll, I'll do a little bit of damage. I don't expect the way to do it. If I could bring her down at all, then maybe we could add something going on here. I mean, she did stagger a little bit there. Again, it still feels like I should be able to grab her. And then, I mean, we did 3,000 damage with that, so I imagine that's probably the equivalent of the grab, but there's not an actual, you know, like, backstab animation there, but we did 3,000 damage with that attack. Maybe, maybe she's just doing? weak to piercing attacks or something? I'm not exactly sure what draining attacks are considered. 
I would assume piercing, generally the way that they go down. Just go ahead on your own. Ow. All right, so don't get All slowed. Prepared. Absolutely, if anything in the entire fight, do not get slowed. Because slowed is just dead. Yeah. You usually start off with other one that impressed. You went that way a little bit. Not throwing that at me. I threw up the parry. We got full focus for it, but she still ended up attacking. Although, I guess we did get her to... Definitely Go get out of there. Get out of there. Dashboard. Dashboard. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. Oh, I hate slow. Slow is so stupid. Slow is so broken. I hate it. Like, how? Slow movement speed? Fine. Fair enough. Slowing animations of literally everything? And now you're asking for too much. That's just ridiculous. I, I couldn't even roll out. That <laughs> did how much damage? Excuse you? That one dash does dwell on your plus. Oh, you're back. Yeah. This is doable. We're going to do it. I absolutely... Uh, this is happening. I don't care how long right it takes there. to screw you. This is happening. And I'm doing it melee. I could just... Nuker uh, with my magic. I've got lightning magic. I've got ice magic. I've got fire magic. I, I got magic everywhere. And that would absolutely destroy me. But that's... That'd be too easy. Well, we did almost 5k and they get hit once there. So of course, Mia just, you know, stood in the news because why not? Hey. Yeah, that's the attack. Right. Just don't get slowed. Just don't get slowed. Anything is slow. Okay, if Mia gets slowed, I could not care less. She's gonna die off the sweets and noobs. She just stands in every single I can't believe that counts as actually kidding me. Oh, not this bad. Okay, good. Somehow we got out of that. Can you, like, stagger at any point in time here? Just if you would. Ow. Out of there. She's gonna do a dash again as soon as she gets close enough. Yeah. She missed? I mean, I don't know how she did, but I'll take it. My roll? No, my roll, my roll three different times? No? Okay. Really now. I did do that with me. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Mia, you were just like useless in this fight you know that like you're just not doing nothing this. here we can do it all right so you are too weak like you just die there's really nothing for you we haven't tried out yukumo yet we have been using the do our me alternative for a while why not at least show off yukumo Pretty sure this dude was the Berserker class or whatnot as well, so he Go might actually have ahead. an AP bar. Not that she doesn't hit for, you know, like 1200 plus, at least against me, but uh, maybe since he's actually specced into being a tanky boy, maybe he won't get one shot like a I certain somebody. Although he might bring the nukes to me if he's going to be like next to me while I do this. I love how it has me auto locked on, yet my guy can completely miss, never turn around and no place to attempt to actually get back to it. 
turns out uh, having a second melee uh, is pretty good. We gotta just wait along this way. Like we both hit so hard that she just ends up staggering. There we go, we ended up dodging all of that. Apparently we still are something slow. Bring it anytime. Oh, maybe he's applying I think he's applying the bubble where we take less damage if we get hit. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Yeah, I'ma let you handle that for a second. I'm gonna finish it. Alright, I'll just be slow. You have fun doing whatever you're gonna do over there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're good. Alright, so it turns out uh Yakumo might do a little bit of damage. And also Mia is extremely squishy in comparison to him. Hey, we did it as a melee, we could have cheaped out and just been a ranged character that Outside of her dash, she had no range, so we could have just punished her like that. But we did it as a melee class, so I'll feels good. Damn it! I'll be taking that. Thank you. I had a feeling something like that was gonna happen. Let's figure out Nico. Sorry, sorry, but it's but time. time. You shouldn't sleep, sleep so late, late you know. You know. Oh, I'm actually supposed to go into the room, okay. Apparently this one's Mia, as opposed to everybody else that's just chilling out here on the beds. <laughs> She's gonna be mad at me. This is as Remember, fast as I can walk. I'm so sure. You're in forever. Are you really sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I want, I want to keep me safe. You're gonna keep me safe? Excuse me? Well, yeah. One of you guys are ashes, so something down is out there. I doubt there's any items in here, so I don't think we're in gonna be ending up missing anything. One day I'll be able to run inside these. I won't. They always make me walk in here. But it'd be nice. Lewis, what do you got to say about all this? I think that memory was from the boy. What exactly was going on? You've been here before, the Lewis. Mountain. Inside the memories, at least. Is something there? I think that the snow... No other lines? Okay. What do you got to say? You about? saw who was there with the kid, right? How do you think those two know each other? What the hell is going on? Your guess is as good as mine, man. Alright, time to get out of here. Was all of that. Damn. She's losing herself. She needs blood this. Right. Then we're going back to base.
Well, the kid had the same infection-looking thing as she did, so I imagine they're probably both within the same boat there. Another vestige. Yo, I've got plenty of vestiges for you to take if you want one. What is it? Oh, you know. Unless they automatically applied them for me. Nah, because we got some right here. Guard reverse. Temporarily enables you to deflect attacks and stagger opponents after guard. That might be worth something. I know. Yeah. Yes, prepare. Oh, but we gotta see all the if we have to see all the memories again. All right, all right. She got for me this time. Damn it! All. The whole place is swarming with horrors. We need to get out of here fast. Wait, wait, wait. Some of our people are injured. Leave them behind. We don't have the numbers to sit around defending the wounded. There's a building surrounded by a moat up ahead. We can take refuge there for a while. It should give us some cover. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Yakumo? So Ricky, Emily, and Yakuma all know each other. You want to stick around until everyone heals? Take a look outside, Yakumo. It's horror town. We need to look for a way out while we still can. And just leave our friends behind? I'm not going to do that. I can't. I'd rather die here defending them. <laughs> You've completely lost it, man. I guess it's just us who want to live. See you, Yakumo. I mean, Riki was considered an assassin class, I believe, in which case it probably makes sense why uh, his personality being shown here is the way that it is. We've made our choice. Anyway, no one can know what tomorrow will bring. Right, Yakumo? Yakumo? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. I like how the first time after we switch a partner immediately it just becomes like a hundred times easier. I mean, I guess alternative Mia was just like a, a present DLC add-on sort of our deal, right? So maybe they made her weaker and or the same as the regular Mia in order to make sure that, you know, those people, they were my old comrades. We might be able to find out where they are now if we follow their memories. You know, use them as a kind of trail. We stayed with the injured. I guess, in a way, I'm the one who left. I suppose that's one way to see it. But... Along with everyone who followed him. In the end, all of us who chose to stay died. Maybe if we had talked it out more, we could have found a way to stick together. Maybe then some of us might have survived. Uh, uh, what's done is done. Yeah, that's true. But still, still, I get it in my head sometimes. I start to wonder, did all those guys who left blame me for their deaths? Well, it's not like I'll find the answer now. No matter how many times I ask. Uh, Eo, I have more vestiges. If you'd wake up, that'd be great. What is it? Yeah, yeah, I know you were sleeping and all that, but I've got uh, I've got upgrades I need, so if you would. Increases attack power when equipped with a two-handed sword. I wish they gave me, like, an amount, so that way I would have an idea of what I'm looking for. Queen Titanium. Probably another upgrade material that I probably, <laughs> probably should have upgraded my weapons by now. Separated, it's, suicide. it's suicide! They're our friends, Riki. I won't I ignore them. Always, Always digging, digging your heels, your heels in. in. 
You'll get everyone killed. I'll help you this one time. After this, you're on your own. Well, at least he was nice enough to help him one time. It was more than zero. It was you, wasn't it, Yakumo? You're the one that stopped our trade. Trade? You mean leaving things to sell in the black market? Call it what you want, but you're no better than thieves. Riki, we were orphans. You remember what it was like. Mido took everything from us before we even knew we had it. Mido? We, we haven't met Mido yet. How could you steal from someone weaker than you? Always the golden boy, huh? I've never fallen for your insipid act. Fine, then. Let's settle this right here, right now. I'll show you what happens to simpering brats like you who don't know when to quit. Ricky seems like a nice guy, huh? Son of a... Back it off already, would you? Back off? So. If, if I did I that, did you would have killed, killed me. me. <laughs> That's, That's why, why I don't I like, like you. Well, you wanted him to kill you? I mean, that seems to be what you're implying there, but all right. The whole cam set up is cursed. It mostly because it's just sitting on my makeshift desk now because the tripod is all messed up had all my lighting which would make the camera better but uh, it'll work i don't know if he was just a sore loser or if it went deeper than that but riki had been coming after me ever since we were little kids the two of us disagreed on absolutely everything and got the fights damn near every single day calling him a good guy would be a stretch but well at least he was honest with himself that's something. I still have more. And now you decide to throw that on? What is it? All right. The fashion sense. Temporary reduces stamina consumption. The effect ends when you take damage. Yes. Well, now we're in a different setting. We're more like in a military base in this one, which makes sense considering the last sure memories that we had seen. Leaving Yakubo and them behind? We finally have a chance to live free instead of being mercenary thralls forever. I'm not gonna die now. Okay, but what's the plan for escape? You guys are able to hear this all right? There should be a couple where the horrors are thin. Hey, Ricky! Ricky! I finally found a chopper! Hey! Hey! That thing just... It just bit through our ticket out of here. Those bastards eat any damn thing in front of them. There's nowhere we can run. Hey, pull yourself together! We're getting, We're getting out of here, out of here alive. alive. Where are you moving me now? Oh, okay, there we go. Some of the police things on some of that stuff seems weird. Like the fact that you turn in here and then you're not a, exactly like face towards it. So then you got to face that way. And then you're like, okay, where do I go now? You think you would like follow through there, but then it's like, actually you go the complete opposite way you weren't looking. The door art and stuff is nice. I feel like the combat in this game could be better. I think what holds back a lot of it is just like all the menus you have to go through to do things. by the horrors after all. If we'd been patient, if we just stayed together. 
Uh, it's in the past now. You can't yeah, change it. So you're right. Don't, you. don't. Anyway, I was hoping you would give me a hand looking for more of their memories. Now, if I see them, I'll grab them. I, I want to say that we've gotten everybody so far. At least that we've gone to anyway. What is it? Yo, I've got yet another message for you to repair, if you would. Strength and vitality up. Back here again, are we? The first face we saw when we woke up from the deep sleep was one we thought we'd never see again. Miguel's. We were mauled to death by horrors after the Great Collapse. Mido collected our bodies and brought them back to life with things called Boar Parasites. Most of us didn't survive the revival process, but they might have been the lucky ones. The rest of us were thrown right back into thraldom. If I could just I still have no idea about the whole parasite thing going on. Maybe while Mido is busy experimenting on Emily. Can you not be feisty down there? You, like, bite me? Like, I don't even know what to do. Yakumo still feels bad about what happened back then. When the two of you guys fought and split up. He does? Yeah, I think he always wonders if there might have been another way. <laughs> like, I even care about that. Yes, yes, Bree. You're an orphan. You care about nothing. It's. I suppose that's why you would be the assassin, that's then, right? Listen up! The facility walls have been breached, and the lost are getting in! This is just what I've been waiting for. Let's slip out in the confusion. What about Yakumo? He's still asleep. You already know the answer. He was always a blind goody-two-shoes. I despised him to his last breath. I won't be satisfied until he wakes up and I get to punch that stupid face of his one more time. Chill, man, whatever you Kubo do to you. I mean, I guess you guys don't agree on... <laughs> From what he says, absolutely anything, which probably leads to wanting to do that, but come on, man. Highly resistant to slashing and piercing attacks on the silver guard. So, it was Riki and the rest of them who did it. Huh. I always did wonder who pulled me out of that place. How lame was that? I was the only one still asleep. <laughs> I wonder if they all made it out of there in the end. I hope so. I hate to think that I slowed them down. Let's well, look for more. Yep. That's the plan. We'll figure out what happened to them. I won't let them be forgotten. I think that was the last of our vestige, but we may as well make sure and get all out of the way at once. What sack? Nice. Spend your own HP to gain Icker. That's probably really good for mages and whatnot. Turns you to the last missile touch without losing haze would be nice. Putting feast, increased strain rating. Hands version blade dance, increased attack power when you dodge enemy attacks. Strength of Rimmer Creek, Focus Carnage. Reduce the rate at which focus gauge is consumed by attacks while you focus that. That one I definitely need, especially for boss fights. That way I can just keep attacking and then my focus won't go so badly because I believe it's also supposed to help against stun resistance or uh, stagger resistance and whatnot. And we got one more of the assassin vestige. Sun trap and firm state. Receiving fatal damage when your HP is over a certain amount will leave you with one HP. So it's like if you play 
Uh, Kingdom Hearts, essentially, that sounds like second chance. Of course, you don't have anything broken like second chance once more, but you... too many of them. You're telling me we have to leave Yakumo behind? Damn it all. We're not abandoning anyone again. All right, listen up, everyone. We're all gonna survive this. At least until we kick the crap out of Yakumo. Yakumo, the truth is, I never did like you, you bastard. Still, I think you made that painfully aware. I, I always, I always wanted, wanted to be, to be like, like you. you. Our life, life may have been, been miserable, miserable, but I wanted I to be wanted able to stand, stand straight, straight and stare, stare back, back at the world with your bright eyes. eyes. You know what? It really, it really doesn't, doesn't feel, feel so bad. bad. Risking, Risking your life, your life for, a for a friend. I feel like they really didn't need to go this hard on these i feel like they could have just turned these into cutscenes and not had to do this the way that it is like after the first couple times it's like all right and then after that you're like come on just speed it up a little bit if you would maybe that's just a me thing i don't know you know that, oh, well there time, goes okay i really thought he hated me i never had any idea how he actually felt He was a good friend? I, I mean, I guess, to, towards him. Maybe not in the greatest of ways. Yeah, I'm proud to say it. I almost feel unworthy of it. I'm going to keep on moving ahead, and I'll keep their memory with me all the way until the bitter end. I owe them that much. It's the least I can do to repay them. Thanks. I don't know if I've said this before, but it's really good being here with you all. I'll keep supporting you however I can. Why is the, uh, why are you so twice? Okay. With that, we got a boss down. Uh, a little bit of a shorter stream today, but we're going to go ahead and cut it there. I might do a stream later and then just make it another shorter one, so then we'll just have two shorter ones for the day. Not entirely sure. But with that, as always, we got to hit it up with the sellouts. I mean, come on now. There's my Twitter. If you guys aren't following that already, definitely go ahead and do that. That way you guys can keep up with all the news of when I'm going to be streaming. Uh, what exactly we're going to be streaming and any other news that you guys need to know definitely go ahead and follow uh, my twitter account in the link right there uh, below that we have our youtube channel definitely go ahead and check that out you guys are uh, liking the code vein so far we've got uh, we've got bloodborne we've got dark souls 1 2 3 uh, we've got all the beast bosses beat in those as well as all the dlc completed so if you like the souls like games then definitely go ahead and check that out. We've also got Resident Evil. Basically anything you think of Resident Evil. We got 0 through 8. As well as Revelations 1 and 2. And Code Veronica. So if you like Resident Evil. If you like the Souls-like games. Definitely go ahead and check those out. We've got uh, some of the lighter stuff. We got some Pokemon on there. Definitely go ahead and check that. I've got uh, Shining Pearl. As well as Legends of Arceus. And there's a bunch of other hidden gems on there that uh, that are maybe not as mainstream, but they're there. Can you not move the camera? There we go. All right, so there's the YouTube. There's my Discord if you guys want to go ahead and join that. That's essentially similar to Twitter and the fact that you can get all the news you need from there. You can drop game suggestions. You can, uh, Any suggestions for the stream in general. I know, it's already getting so dark. It was better when we originally started the stream, but now it's getting to the point where uh, it doesn't look all that great, sadly. Once I get the tripod all fixed and whatnot, or just order a new one at this point, it'll get better. 
But yeah, Discord, definitely go ahead and join that if you want to. It's just uh, more exclusive than Twitter. And then you can pretty much do whatever you want in there. Uh, we might stream later today, or we might just stream again tomorrow. Although I'm not exactly sure. Just look out on Twitter or join Discord for the next time we're going to stream. We'll probably still stream some more Code Vein after playing it a little bit more. Um, I don't know. There's definitely, like, you can see, like, there's some of the Dark Souls, like, inspirations in there. The Mistles acting like the bonfires. The uh, Regeneration acting like the Flask. And then the idea of the one-handed uh, weaponry as well as the two-handed weaponry. And then you got the magic in there and the swords. Uh, that boss fight really was not that bad. I think a lot of it is... I know, the combat feels kind of clunky. Maybe that's just me, but... Uh, it feels like I should be able to like weave in like combo attacks and shift stuff like that but generally it's just um, it's generally just spamming the one attack there's launch attacks and then there's got some other ones in there the drain really just never feels worth it it just takes too long and then it generally doesn't do that much damage now maybe I'm on the wrong blood code or something like that because I know some of them are more specialized towards it in which case maybe those would make it worthwhile to do it but I don't know it's something about the combat that feels clunky I think it's too many menus for me personally because you know you've got like eight different skills over there eight different skills and then when you're trying to attack um, sometimes you have to press like two buttons which doesn't feel good to me maybe that's just a me thing like instead of just being able to press like square or press triangle or something like that no i've got to hold down like l1x where i gotta hold down r2 and then order in order to access different skills it just seems like it seems like they added too much to where they couldn't fit it into all the button combinations you know because it's not on like pc or whatever so i can't just press you know, I can't just use, like, WASD and then set the skills to, um, you know, the different, uh, keys on the keyboard, in which case I think the game is probably better played on, uh, PC at this point. Mostly just for running through the menus, right? Because if I had, like, instant access to my skills and stuff where I didn't have to go through the extra steps in order to get to it, that would definitely help with, uh, with the fighting be a little being a little more fluid i mean it could just be me uh, just fumbling through the controls which is also fair enough i know it just it certainly doesn't feel as fluid as something like dark souls or elden ring or bloodborne or any of those things it just feels like they tried to put in too much with too little inputs available that make them worthwhile for using Overall, still having a good time, enjoying it. Uh, that boss fight was a little triggering with the slow. Like, outside of the slow, the boss fight was not bad. But uh, slow itself just seems to be an extremely annoying status effect. If it was just slowing your movement, that would not be so bad. But when you slow down the animations of every attack you do, plus your healing, plus any of the gifts you do, like, that is that is extremely gross not to say there isn't ways around it i mean we had the anti uh slow for a little bit uh there's some skills i think that would help reduce it so maybe maybe had we came in more prepared maybe that wouldn't have been as much of an issue but yes yeah, so. and apparently leah wants to show up no 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 oh jeez. really <sighs> must you must be like this. Well, let's see how cursed this is now. You did this, you know. You did this. Okay. Well, it's not exactly okay. This is why we put on the dry pod, so that way I don't have to deal with that nonsense. You know what? Nah, you knocked it over. So now you gotta face the punishment. 
stand in the front of the pit. Oh. Yeah, you did this, so now you get to do this. Alright, so that's life. Oh, she's trying to run away. Maybe now you'll not knock down the, the uh, webcam. I highly doubt it, but there's a sneak peek of that. Anyways, I didn't. We delayed it long enough. You guys have a good one. Uh, this is so screwed up now. <laughs> but yeah, we'll probably do some more Code Vein. Uh, as to when, I'm not entirely sure yet because I think I have some new appointments scheduled for tomorrow. So then I got to carve out time for that. And then if they don't show up, then the time will be freed up because sometimes they'll schedule stuff and be like, uh, actually, no, I don't want to. And then it's like, I just put away like the entire house for nothing for that time set up. It's such a pain, such a pain. But, yeah. All right, enough stalling. You guys have a good one. And um, if we do end up streaming later today, definitely go ahead and keep an eye on Twitter. If you're in Discord, definitely just like at me and uh, and just be like, are we going to stream later today? And then I can give you like a yes, no on that one. As for the YouTube videos, we'll have more going up tomorrow. We should already have the ones up for today. Uh, they still need thumbnails, which I'm working on. I'll have to finish those right after we're done with this here. And uh, yeah, that's generally the plan. You guys have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you guys. And we'll we'll see about later today or tomorrow. We'll see. Just just keep an eye on Twitter. See ya.